हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड इंडस्ट्रियल प्रैक्टिस सो एज यू कैन सी दैट टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज सब्सक्रेस एंड डिजाइन इट इज द थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द सब्सक्रेस एंड डिजाइन सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट हाइब्रिड सब्सक्रेस सो लेट्स बिगिन द वीडियो In the previous video, we have discussed about uh, uh, gas insulated substation and air insulated substation, switchyard, etc. So, in this video, we will be seeing about hybrid substation. So, what is hybrid substation and how it is uh, different from the other other substation, other type of substation? So, hybrid substation is basically a combination of uh, GIS and AIS. Okay, so it is basically combination of combination of AIS and GIS how so in this type of substation in this uh, type of uh, hybrid substation the bus bar arrangement bus bar arrangement is AIS air insulated okay and switch gear arrangement is GIS switch gears are GIS gas insulated okay so this is uh, this forms a hybrid substation so let me explain further uh, with a the diagram so let us draw it uh, draw it the circuit diagram first suppose uh, we, we will draw one incoming and one outgoing filter only for sake of simplicity so suppose this is the bus bar okay and here is the incoming so incoming uh, we will have first a circuit breaker i am drawing a sing simple single bus system okay so the incoming is coming from here this is incoming line okay so as uh, there is a bar circuit breaker so there will be two isolators so this is one isolator this is another isolator there is a ct okay so for uh, uh, entering the incoming line as this is uh, this is out output type system so let us draw a lightning arrester and there will be a line pt okay so this is basically this is the incoming feeder lightning arrester line pt then isolator circuit breaker ct again isolator then it is connected to the main bus bar and uh, suppose there is one transformer feeder outgoing so this will be also same this is isolator then circuit breaker then here draw the ct then also one isolator then as there is a transformer feeder so here will be another lightning arrester and then it is transformer okay uh, I am not drawing the arc switch here. Here there, there will be a arc switch also. Okay, so I am not uh, drawing arc switch in this video. When I will make separate video on the substations, uh, each substation, then I will draw the arc switch proportion. Okay, so this is the uh, this is your uh, uh, a substation, a typical single line diagram of the substation. So here for being an hybrid substation, what will happen? This bus bar will be out air insulated type. Okay. This portion will be only air insulated type and this will be gas insulated. This portion will be gas insulated. This portion will be enclosed gas insulated. Okay. So this is AIS. This will be GIS, GIS. So this is how the hybrid substation forms. Okay. So in layout, it something looks like this. Uh, I am uh, drawing an elevation. So these are the three bus bars. Say, say these are uh, connected uh, strung through a gantry okay so th this is the gantry structure the bus bars are strung here so here there will be the GIS assembly okay there, there will be uh, three bushings I am drawing the transformer feeder so from this bus bar the ca ca uh, conductors will be connected through the here here there will be uh, post isolator uh, post insulator sorry uh, you need to put a post insulator here for support this is the GIS structure and from here there will be the transformer feeder transformer okay so, so this is the typical uh, typical layout diagram this portion is GIS inside this GIS what we will have we will have isolator CT circuit breaker PT lightning arrester okay so all these components will be inside this gas insulated switch here so this forms the uh, gi uh, this forms a hybrid substation 
Now, what are the advantages of this hybrid substration? The advantages of hybrid substration is that it is it is basically an optimized design. So, when you are taking an entire substation, entire assembly of high voltage in GIS, it becomes more expensive. And if you take it outdoor switch here, then there is a huge amount of land requirement. So, this actually optimized this expense and requirement of land. You are using this portion, this uh, bus bar as outdoor. So here you will need some uh, land, where, whereas you are using this switch gear as GIS. So here the requirement of land is reducing. If you use a conventional outdoor type uh, switch, uh, outdoor type switch gear assembly here, this uh, this length would have been increased. Okay, this would have been uh, uh, expanded. So by using GIS, you are compressing this. So here you are saving some amount of space. Okay. And uh, here uh, not using, not including this uh, bus bar inside the GIS, you are uh, actually making some economic uh, benefit, economic savings. Okay. So basically this is an optimized design between AIS and GIS. So this is how, this is why it is used, widely used, it has been used in many, many uh, places. Okay, so this is another type of substation. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. And please hit the bell icon to get latest notifications of our video. Thank you very much for watching this video.